Hey guys, it is now the fourth day of the ship and I'm about to show you how I collect plastics for my research and how everything works. First thing is getting dressed up. In any research vessel, whenever we want to work on deck deploying any kind of instrument, we need to put on our security gear in case any accident should occur. In this case, I need to put on my steel cap boots, a life vest and a helmet. After I'm all dressed up and ready, we prepare the net and then with the help of the crew, we put it into the water from the back of the ship to be dragged for as long as we want, which in this case was 45 minutes. As you can see, can they see? Okay. <laughs> so there's the net and we collect every plastic that is at the surface. That's why we have these two floats so that they, so the net stays floating at the surface. And then there's this little thing in the middle called flow meter, which is basically water passing through, which we need to know uh, how much plastic we collect and how much amount of water that passes through the net. There are also other nets which are made to be towed vertically, so they go into the depth into the, in the deeper waters and then we push them up, or we pull them up, I'm sorry. You can also tow horizontally in deeper waters, but in this case we just want the surface waters and uh, it doesn't go through. Us waiting for 45 minutes. <laughs> After 45 minutes of being towed, the net is ready to be pulled back up on board. Now the next part is to open and so here should be what we collected so we just open it there we go this is what we collected so as this was after 45 minutes of towing so it doesn't seem like much but now we will look at this under a dissection microscope which is this here Fun. to check whether there's plastics that are so tiny we cannot really see just like this and then we will count them and store them at minus 80 because after that we take them to Vienna where we extract DNA and then we try to study the bacterial or microbial communities that are attached to these plastics so let's get to work so now I'm looking for the plastics here, we pass them through sieves to separate them by size. Over here, we are filtering seawater. Let me explain to you why. In order to understand the microbial community living attached to these plastics, we also need to be able to compare it to the natural microbial community living in the seawater. Using DNA, we are capable of, for instance, identifying the species living both on the plastics and the seawater, and then determine whether specific species prefer living on the plastics and which species they are. To do that, every time we collected plastics, we also collected 4 liters of surface seawater. After collecting the plastics, we can immediately store them with the attached communities at minus 80 degrees Celsius. However, to collect and store the seawater community, we need to filter it onto a filter. To filter seawater, we use a special filtration device. The first thing we need to do is to put the filter onto the filter holder. This filter has a mesh size of 0.2 micrometers. This is so small that if you look at it, it just looks like a shiny piece of paper. The reason for the mesh size of the filter being so small is that we want to collect all bacteria that are in the water, which are very, very tiny and generally bigger than 0.2 micrometers. After that is done, we can put the water into this cup-like structure and switch on the pump, which will basically suck the water down and through the filter. Everything bigger than 0.2 micrometers should be collected on the filter while all the rest, including the water, passes through. When all the water has passed through, we fold the filter, put it into a cryovial, which is what we call these little tubes, put it into a box together with all the rest of the samples and freeze it at minus 80 degrees Celsius, where it will be kept until further processing back in Vienna. 
what we collected. In total, we collected around 15 pieces, not around 15 pieces. Most of them really small. I don't know. This is it guys, this is what we do with our plastic work here on the cruise and I hope you 